Hey, happy Thursday, huh? How do I look? Where is my entourage? Where are those people? They're supposed to take care of me. They're supposed to see to it that I look good. I don't see them. Uh-oh. Here she is. Let's see. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You got a merry minute for us today? A merry minute. A merry minute. Come here and say something. Say something. A stand up. A merry minute. Well, you know what? Things aren't always as they seem. You always say that. I do, because they aren't. Because uh, sometimes <clears throat> things on the surface don't look as they do underneath. Now, I don't know where I'm supposed to go with this, but, <laughs> but I always say that because, <clears throat> you know, people take things at their surface value, and that's not always true. There's always things going on behind the scenes. Yeah. We don't know the whole story. Yeah, you need to know the whole story. Yes. So don't judge something by its cover. Don't believe everything everybody tells you. Right. Because somebody somebody else may have something to say too. Right. Huh? I'm going to sneak behind you. Thank you. Hey, I want to talk to you today on this happy Thursday about how to stay healed in your promised land. Huh? How to stay healed in your promised land. How many of you know that, without a doubt, God wants you to stay healed? God, no, no, don't. You don't need to close that. God wants you to be healed. He wants you to live in abundance. Jesus said, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Let me tell you something. Sickness destroys and kills people and steals away your joy and steals away your health. Amen? The devil does all, but Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. More abundantly. You, you know, people who are living in poor health, I don't care how much money they have, if they're sick, they're not living an abundant life. An abundant life includes, like uh, for Third John verse 2 says, Beloved, above all things, it is my wish that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. God wants us to not only prosper and to live an abundant life, but to live a healthy life. And the promised land is a place to do that. Remember, where is it? In Psalm, uh, what is it? I think it might be 105. Let me find that for you. Psalm 105 I think it's, is where it is. It tells us that God brought them out. He brought them out. It says he brought them forth. And talking about bringing them out of a bondage. God brought them out of bondage. He brought them forth also with silver and gold. That's abundance. And there was not one feeble person among their tribes. That is healing. Now, there's three million people. He brought them all out with silver and gold. That's abundance. And there was not one feeble person. Can you imagine a city of three million people? Think of a city, three million people. Pittsburgh, maybe? New York is like eight million people. Los Angeles is a lot of people. Maybe San Antonio got two or three million people. I don't know. But a city of three million people, and the hospitals are all empty. We have uh, about, right here in the southern Bavard County, probably about 200,000 people down here. When you take into account all the beaches, and uh, we live out on the beach, but across the river in Melbourne, and then in Palm Bay, you probably got about 200,000 people all together. Hospitals are packed. I mean packed. Sometimes people have to lay out in the hallway. We had a neighbor lady one day uh, a few years ago, and she spent some time in the hospital. What was that? Mary, for two weeks she laid out in the hall. They had a bed out in the hallway for her because they didn't have a room. Now, that's a lot of sick people. 
emergency room is full, full of people. You go down to an emergency room, people sit and wait, unless you have a real bona fide emergency. Amen? But God wants us to live an abundant life, and the promised land is the place to do it. The promised land is the place to live an abundant life, which means health. Now, here's how you keep your healing in the promised land. When the blessing of the Lord comes upon you, believe me, you're, you're going you're gonna to experience a, a real increase in your health. You're going to find that some of these chronic diseases go away, that, that some of these, these problems. But, you know, you can also you can live a financially blessed life but still be sick. The Jewish people are, are great about that. They have a lot of health problems, but they sure believe the part of the covenant for abundance financially. But they need some work when it comes to healing. I said to a Jewish man one time who was suffering all kinds of illnesses, I said, well, you believe in the blessing of Abraham, don't you? He said, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I said, did you know it also includes healing? He said, what? I said, it also includes health. He said, well, i got to check on that. He's still sick. Apparently he didn't. Apparently he didn't get a hold of it. But it does. It includes health. Remember what Jesus said about that woman in the temple? He said, ought, in Luke chapter 13, ought not this woman, this daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years, be loosed and healed on the Sabbath? He's saying she should be healed because she's a covenant woman. She should be in the promised land. Now look. Here's how you stay healed in the promised land. In uh, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, it says, Life and death, it says, The tongue has the power of life and death over you, and you will live by the words that come out of your mouth. Now, the way to keep your healing in the promised land is to keep your mouth shut. Mary, grab me that tape over there, would you please? I want to show you how to keep your healing in the promised land. Oh boy. Here she comes. Thank you, darling. Here's how to keep your healing. This is designer duct tape. You can put a piece of this over your mouth and I guarantee you will keep your healing. Now, it's one thing to get healed. It's not hard to get healed. Everybody I speak over, everybody I command the spirit of infirmity to leave, they get their healing. Every one of them. Every single last solitary one of them gets healed. The ones who don't keep it are the ones who go, when am I going to see this? I don't think this is going to work. And... I keep getting sick and all this. They nullify it. They nullify it. That's one thing Jewish people never do, is they, they don't nullify the blessing. Once you get into the promised land, don't get yourself kicked out with your mouth. Don't, don't let the devil get back into your life, because believe me, the giants are in the promised land. Amen? Don't let, the, don't let those giants of sickness get back into your life. That's how you keep your healing in the promised land is by watching your words. Amen? We have got, uh, we've got a book coming out about that probably in about two months about the power, about, about how our words can shape our life. This is going to be an awesome book too. Let me tell you something. It's going to be awesome. Hey, but you, you can keep your healing in the promised land. In, in the promised land is good health and milk and honey. And the blessing, we've been talking about the promised land all week. The promised land is something that grows up around you. You know, when Israel first got into the promised land, they, did, they didn't live in abundance right away. They had to fight their way through. We don't have to fight their way through. We can keep the enemy at bay through the power in the name of Jesus. You can clear all the giants out of your promised land just by standing over there on the shore and yelling, get out 
in the name of Jesus. That gets them out. But you got to keep your healing. You got to get you got to get prayed over, spoken over to get healed, and then you got to watch your words. I'm telling you, so many people have come into our church sick and broke. We speak the blessing over them, we get them healed, and the ones who don't pay any attention to anything but just go about their business, they're the ones that will live in abundance and live in health. But the people who fuss about it all the time, people who are looking to other people for their healing, or, or not, not so much for their healing, but looking to other people for their finances, and we've had people in our church doing that, and we root them out in a hurry. But we've had people doing that, and people who keep, you know, depending on the doctors for their health. Now, we believe in doctors. Let the doctor treat the symptoms, but keep your eye on Jesus as the healer. Amen? That's how you do that. But you can keep your healing in the promised land simply by watching your words. That is the key to the whole program. Hey, people out there are telling me this is the most advanced teaching anywhere. Tell all of your friends about these videos, please. Because when you do, you, you, get every, you, get, you get people's lives going from poverty into abundance. You can be so instrumental in helping somebody, you know, get healed. People are, are referring people all the time. If you know somebody who is sick or broke, please tell them to call me. We will get them healed, and we will get their lives moved into abundance and out of poverty. Hey, glory to God. Hey, tell somebody about Jesus today. Wouldn't that be nice? Just tell everybody you know about Jesus today. Tell people about these videos. And help us send this message around the world. When you donate to this website and donate to this ministry, call me because I want to speak a blessing over your offering and over your tithe at the same time. Huh? Hey, stay tuned. We got some good things. I got a big book giveaway coming up next week. We're going to give away a new book. And I'm going to let you know when it's available. It's going to be available to you next week. And all you have to do is just send in your name and address. And we'll get that book to you. And it's, it's really neat. It's a life-changing book. And it's all free. Because I want our partners to have that. Hey, go out there today. Make it a great day. And remember this, God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills.